because it is cold where I am at the minute. I mean, not really cold, but cold. I mean, look at my fingers. <laughs> I look like I've been in a bath for six hours. Good morning, my beautiful people. I hope you're well. As you can see, I've had the granite fitted and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am really, really pleased with it. Obviously, the black matches the, the flu gallery, um, which is what I wanted. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. Um, two, two fellas came. I think it only took them about 45 minutes to install it. They had one of them uh, fancy laser levels that my uh, technical advisor lent me to do the concrete and uh, some spaces that they put underneath to get it level and then they just sprayed some adhesive. Made a couple of cuts because it was just touching the dome and uh, they had it whacked in within 45 minutes so I'm, I'm really pleased with it and Andy uh, is the, uh, the chap that owns the company that supplied this. If you're watching it's absolutely gorgeous I'm, I'm really pleased so thank you so the next job is to insulate the dome using the fire blanket I'll put two, row, two layers of fire blanket on and a layer of perlite render so they supplied me with all sorts of bits of kit here uh, two of which are these <laughs> now for those of you who are old enough to remember a program called All Creatures Great and Small, you will know what these were for, or what these are actually for. So <laughs> you put you put them on like this. And that is for what can I describe this? you want to try and find out if a large animal is pregnant so you put your hand somewhere using this glove this is what these gloves are actually for but they supply these so I'll have two of these on and these to protect my hands from this stuff because apparently it's a bit itchy I'll also have a face mask on and, and, and glasses uh, they also supply some nails so I'll get some nails in the uh, in the calcium uh, and that'll be to tie the tie wire down because this goes on top of the fire blanket and this helps the render stick to it so that's the job I'm uh, that's the job I'm going to get on the next this this is <laughs> this is not as easy as you think and I've made a, a little bit of <laughs> a mess of it in places I mean, this is only the first first layer um, <clears throat> but yeah it's <laughs> It's not easy. Oh, Where are they? Where are sure I've made this job a lot more difficult than what it should have been as with, <laughs> as with a, lot of the, a lot of the jobs that I do. Uh, the next step is to mix the uh, perlite render uh, and it's two inches so I put another two inches of uh, render on here and then that's it done and then you leave it to cure for a week on its own and then you do some more little curing fires build up and then I can start cooking food. I'm a little bit unsure about this mixture and it says roll it up into a ball which I have and you can catch it and it doesn't go through your fingers that should be alright it does feel quite moist but I don't know if that's moist enough and would that stick on a wall 
it's not a, it's not a wall, it's a wheelbarrow, but... And yeah, do you know what? I think that's right. I've only mixed a small, a small amount to start with to get used to it. So I've got my cement mixer, which I'll uh, I'll mix up a load when I when I know I've got it right. First layer on. It's only about I don't know 15 mil, maybe a bit more. And that's just the first root, the first layer. I'll probably get three layers on, depending on how thick I do the the uh, the next uh, the next layer. Uh, but it's it's nice and round. There is a tool that they've sent, which is like a polystyrene tool, and it's in the shape of the. Uh, dome, but I haven't used it yet because there's uh, little bits of wire sticking out, chicken wire, and I don't want to damage it. So what I'll do is, <coughs> when I do the next layer, and uh, the, I'm nowhere near the chicken wire, then I'll use the, uh, uh, I'll use that float, which is, uh, as I say, shaped like this. But it's looking good so far. I'm, I'm quite pleased. Right, so this uh, this first layer that I've uh, that I did yesterday, it's been on for about 18 hours. So I've just mixed up a load more, uh, and I'm going to get a nice thick layer on now. I think I might have mixed this a little bit too wet. <coughs> I think I've mixed this a little bit too wet. <laughs> oh dear me I might be able to thicken it up or just leave it for a little bit to go off I don't know I mean it's going on but it just doesn't feel like the one I did yesterday so I'm thinking it's a little bit too wet render on uh, it's, it's taken me quite taken me quite a long time as you saw earlier on I mixed the uh, render a little bit loose it was a little bit wet <laughs> what a what a nightmare the past two and a half three hours have been anyway I've got the second second layer of render on I've covered it up as uh, as you're supposed to do to stop it drying out although I don't think it's going to dry out very quickly here because it's where I live it's absolutely freezing I think I've got as, as much render on the oven as I have on myself. I'm absolutely caked in this stuff. It's in my hair. It's in, it's, the camera's covered in the stuff. So I'll leave that to go off for... I think I might leave that to go off for about 48 hours. <laughs> 